This is it everyone, the final Pokemon of the three starters. It's your Charmander, Bulbasaur, and now it's time for Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Real quick before I start, a real quick update. Uh, in the beginning, the introduction to the videos, you may notice something a little, little different. If you notice what it is, leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to see if anyone can tell my new secret of the introduction. And uh, that's one thing. And then another thing, being that this is the 101th episode and kind of taking things in a new direction, I'm going to, hopefully I'll have it in this video. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it or finish it. But I should have an ending, you know, a little ending card scene with uh, some something. Probably I'm going to draw myself just nothing too fancy, but just just to make it look a little more professional and but once again, thanks everyone, all new people checking out, and let's let's learn how to draw Squirtle now. Squirtle, Squirtle. So to start with, I'm using the B pencil again, and I'm just going to start with basic shapes, what I've been doing with these drawings, and I'm just going to take a couple of practice pencil strokes over here, just so I get a good feel. My hand's not warmed up at all, I haven't drawn in a long time, I've been... Uh, so start with, I'm going to start with the head shape. So I'm really, his head shape is like a circle, but it's a little bit more of a dome on the top. So you can see I'm just making a little elongated on the top, like this dome shape, and it gets wider towards there. And then on the bottom, you can see it gets a little wider. So start with almost this very short egg-like shape. And then he's got a little chin, so take it right there, kind of like classic anime chin, and that juts out a little. So basic shape for that. Now that you got that, then you can really start the rest. The shell is a little longer than that, so I'm just going to use my fingers, or you can use your pencil by eye. Just make a little dot right here, so see how long it is. Then I'm just going to draw another little, just a little... I'm doing it roughly by eye, but you know, just just a little shape where the shell, where he has places for the arms. I'm just keeping this very simple. It's almost like a cross shape. Then right here, then here are the legs. So make this little simple shape, or you can just draw a whole circle if you prefer. I prefer doing it like this because. You know, I remember the arms are going to come out of these little socket areas. And then for the shell here, it kind of juts inward. And you can see part of the shell on the back, the way it's drawn. And then come here, so you got that part of the shell. And then let's get the arms. And you can see how it's coming along already. The arms, I'm just going to draw these little tube shapes that as they get towards the end, they start to get a little skinnier. I'm not going to open it yet uh, with the fingers. And same on this side. The arm's fairly long. Not actually not long. They're pretty short actually. I'm sorry. Same on this side. Get skinny towards the edges. Then for the feet, these little tube shapes. And I believe he's got three toes. So this is perfect. I finally got all three so one little toe two and then three like that and same on this side one two and then a third one so now you got the body and the shell here you're gonna see part of it on the side so you want to make a little line there then real quick we'll work on the eyes the mouth has this turtle point it's like a beak like a turtle has and just comes down and it really does and kind of ends at a point it's not a hugely sharp point but it does end at a point 
and a nostril here, nostril here. And I'm jumping around. That's how you should draw jump around in three fingers so you can put one, another, another for the hands. He's in a very determined stance. He's ready. He's about to water gun someone. Just like that. And uh, then for the eyes, same like with the, the Bulbasaur Charmer and the eyes on the bottom. Pretty straight horizontal line. Then it just arches up. To make a little half oval shape. Then another one. Oh yeah. And one more thing about the update which completely forgot to mention. Uh, I will have the results. The If you haven't checked it out yet. I'm doing the, the giveaway with the 1 million view giveaway. So just check out that video. I'll probably put a you know, an annotation here. But check that out because it'll probably be up another week and then I'll randomly give, give the prizes out and choose the winners and all that. So that's very important. You can win a sketchbook, pencil, and a, a drawing book and lots of other things. So that's for that. And then for the eyes, let's really start finishing up. The shell part, basically you have a line here one line there, then make a line coming down the middle where the belly is like that then one here it kind of intersects at this line so make another cross line and then bring another one up and then real easily bring this up another here, and it's got like this shape to it, it gets skinnier towards the legs that's kind of the basic shell shape of them um, so I actually got all that, we can start, finish it up, and the finish, final details and things. So for the eyes, you got a little, right there, a highlight, and then part of the eye here. Then he's got like these little, like typical anime eyes, where a big, big pupil, like this. And a little in there. Like I said, he's got a real determined look on his face. Two little nose, nostrils, two little nostrils, then the mouth. Then draw the chin here. Just go over the lines we made. Just take your time doing the outline work. And it just connects to the body. So I'm keeping the line simple. I'm going to come in and erase all this. I'm actually going to make this a little lower. So don't worry about that. I'll, I'll fix that up better later. You know, just, just a preference thing. Keep it a little, little lower. The same with this eye. Same thing, you're going to have a big reflection there. Then another reflection on the side. They so kind of have these little eyes. Make sure you put that little mark there. It kind of shows that it's attached to the face. And real quickly. Just put this. Finish up the fingers. I'm going to erase all these lines behind it. But you can see once you get the basic shapes and how much easier it goes. Now where the arms connect. I'm using a Statler mechanical pencil. 
So basically finish up, darken these lines in real good. I'm going to make these really dark. Now where the shell is. And a great tip is use a piece of paper so you don't smear it whenever you put your hand over it. Then I'm just connecting these lines we made. You can see you're just following these real simple shapes. Like that. Now line here. And last but not least, now that we're almost done. Now that we're almost done, finally you want to add the little tail, that little squirrel-like tail. And I want to make this line pretty thick just so you can show it's the outer shell. Like that. Then for the tail, basically the tail is like, you know, like squirrel shape, but it's got a little downward arch to it. So I'm going to draw it with this. It kind of comes out. It curves up. Kind of curves inward. Kind of looks just like that. It's got this little, it's bigger towards the end when it curves here. That's pretty much it for the squirtle. That's pretty much it then. Just come back in and you can use the lead pencil and I would shade. I'd definitely darken in the shell back here and make that the darkest. I make the body fairly dark but not too dark. And then just go and erase any other little god lines or lines that don't look that good. It's pretty much squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I feel nauseous for some reason. Oh, I'm really sorry if I didn't explain things. I don't know what's been going on. I've been feeling not the best and right now I feel a little nauseous but uh I'm sorry if I'm just coming in. I'm going to use the B pencil. And what I like to do is, you know, just to give it a little variety and make different parts come out. Just slightly shade all of his body. Or you can shade the shell, just however you want, but I'd recommend shade, shading the body in. Then it starts to pop out. The whole color pops out a lot better. I like that. And a little tail, and that's a squirtle for you. Thanks so much, everyone, again for watching. And I will have lots more Mewtwo's up next, everyone. Don't miss out on Mewtwo, the ultimate Pokemon. Thanks, everyone, and see you next time.